Hello, welcome to Pau Saudi. Pau Saudi is a themed reminiscence project with food and music for older people. We've been going all year and experimenting lots with different approaches, each month a different theme. This month was holidays. And what we do is we set the tables up each time with a different theme. So here you can see sand and shells. And then the participants come in and start to reminisce about their seaside and holiday memories in this occasion. And then as we go on, we try different approaches. I think it's the informality of it that's, uh, that's great. We're able to share experiences. And since we come from different backgrounds and different parts of the country and from the town and the city and, and also abroad experiences, it's really quite, quite different from anything else that I do. And people's different, I mean, you were Italian, we are country bumpkins, so you know things we don't know and vice versa. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We went for a therapeutic angle on this, evoking the sounds of the sea. So we had trays with shells and sand and people tilted them. Then we looked at things like George Formby and the past and different entertainers. And now we've started to introduce people reciting poems together and listening to other people reciting them. What we do then is we take people's creative ideas from their reminiscences and we start to build them into a song that we rehearse and then we start to perform it with the addition of a bit of percussion. Creative process, rehearsal process and performance process is quite good fun. This theme was hay time. The tables were laid with bread baked in the face of a sun to worship and say thanks to the sun for the um, bread. Participants started to remember about their hay time memories. You feel, you feel more at one if you're if with, with a group of your own age. But you're not with a group of your own, own age that's all old and doddery. You're in a group of your old age that's still doing things. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's important. Very much so. Yeah. Because you can, if you're not careful, you can be put into the old and doddery group. Yeah. 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 This was the tradition of breaking the neck of corn. We all tried it. Then we did a few gentle stretches and then some clapping exercises just to get everybody in the mood, get the blood flowing. Harvest home, harvest home, that merrily brought us a harvest That was a Purcell song. And now, to worship the sun and thank through the bread, we created a layered choir. Sometimes we listen to local folk songs and sometimes we join in with them. And then about halfway through the session, Everybody has food baked. It's such a lot of fun, and it's good food, and uh, and uh, every, everybody seems to be happy, and it, it's just a great day out. This is us trying out a folk song. Sometimes we've discovered people like to see the bassoon in the orchestra. I chose the pastoral symphony. And now we're finding words from our reminiscences to make a song. This theme was back to school. Nell Stark, back to school teacher. All the tables are set out like a school formation and people start to reminisce about their school days. Again, halfway through, people have a school dinner served this time. We had steel jugs. Sharing and enjoying food together is something that's very basically human. Yes. And that we so little do these days. Nowadays, it's more formal. You, yeah. might, you might have a little dinner party or something like that. But even there's not so many of those now. No, there once there were. We looked at the theme of rebellion the blues note in contrast to conformity of nice church hymns and how things have changed over the years. These are all children's alternative songs. We had a good laugh. 
Then we had a game of consequences to generate song lyrics, which was quite funny. And then we put it all into a blues song. Again, the creative rehearsal and performance process is great. And then we finished with a lovely hymn. In fact, I was delighted when I looked on the website and saw that we were going to have six more ahead. And I got my new diary out and entered the wall in my new diary. We're with some friends from Burton who want to come along with us as well. So this month was dark night. As you can see on the right, we put a fire to give that mood and the tables were set with rustic-y dark night flowers and things. People are reminiscing. Well, it's just, it's just a wonderful get together and it's so fascinating to listen to all the reminisces and to see how everybody sort of chats to each other um, and we all gain and learn from it. And, uh, and I've been bringing a brother-in-law along who was Paul. Are you ain't enjoying it, Paul? Ah, uh, yeah. So, just like to say thanks for the wonderful opportunity and we're looking forward to coming to the next six next year, aren't we? Then with the Dark Knight's theme, Nell thought of putting up some pictures so we showed a Van Gogh one of the potato eaters and also Starry Night. I then tried a kind of therapeutic sound bath and we picked words to paint the scene and then I played it back to everybody giving them the option of closing their eyes and kind of being bathed in it. And we also looked at the John Denver song. I think it's John Denver, Starry Night. People stop halfway through and they have their lunch. And now we have a fireside story. This is us taking a folk song, singing it together. And here reciting a poem together. And now we're creating from our reminiscences a song to the tune of Dance Macabre and everyone's on percussion. Um, I enjoy it because um, it's surprising how you can bring the reminiscences together into a song, uh, which we all sing at the end. It's just amazing the way that people will come out with bits and bobs from their past and somehow or other you make it into a song which we all sing at the end. It's just great fun. Then we had a Christmas sing-along. We started with the usual reminiscences. And we warmed our voices up and had carols. After the carols, we got ready for lunch. We put up pictures of winter scenes and everyone pulled a cracker. Oh, and before that, we had a good old tap and a sing along. And that's our Pau Saudi for 2019. We've had an absolutely fantastic time. Nell does amazing baking for each session. We set the tables, we have music, experiments, poems, and we're looking forward to the next year. Thanks so much.